So we're, uh, Tim is uh, splitting uh, the trees into uh, two piles. One of them is going to be hauled to herd lumber for milling. And the other one is not suitable for uh, use in um, milling for lumber and will be used for uh, pulps. How do you, how do you decide uh, what's good for milling for lumber and what isn't? Primarily on, uh, it's just straightness of the logs. Um, you want to maximize, you want to get, these logs are worth more than pulp obviously, and uh, you want to get as much, uh, as many logs out of a tree as you can, but there's only so much that you can take, it has, the logs have to be straight and have to be of a certain diameter, and uh, once they, they start getting crooked or below a certain diameter, that's, that's all you can take. So. Usually I run up, run down a log first and uh, measure up and see what the length of the whole thing is and what I can divide it up into and uh, try to maximize it from there. What's the minimum diameter that's really suitable for milling? Eight, eight inches, but it needs to be a nice, a nice straight eight inches. It needs to be a real nice straight one. And, you know, it shouldn't have big knots sticking out of it. So all these little knots that you see on this tree here, uh, yeah. those are those are not problems. That just adds if you want knotty pine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not a problem. Okay. Okay, great. Let's see how you do this. Okay. First thing I used to do when I work with the butts up to see because a lot of times it'll be a rotten log and you won't notice it unless you're looking at the butt. And uh, these ones are all fairly clear, so then I run down it and measure out what uh, how I get to a spot where I don't feel it's a good log. This one ends kind of early because it gets all crooked right in here and great big knots and everything. So there's only one log right there. And it makes a really perfect 16 foot 6 inch log right there. So we'll cut it right there. And what's the magic about 16 foot 6 as a length? No real magic, <laughs> but a, uh, you always need to have 6 inches of trim on the end so that way they can, you know, they've got something that they can cut off and, you know, make an even, even board with it. And 16 feet is typically the maximum length of a board that it, you can It generally buy. is. Um, in pine, there's no mill that will buy anything to speak of unless it's a custom type thing. Anything okay. more than uh, 16 foot. Okay. something after this. There's just a short log in there, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll waste that little piece right there, which will be good for nothing. And we'll just take a short log out of that section, but the rest of it will be all junk. Huh.
how smoothly Tim operates the boom controls. It's like an extension of his fingers and hands. Yep. So what do you I think see. of the quality of the lumber here? Do you have any prediction as to... It's, it's not terribly high quality, but it's not bad. I mean, it's probably probably giving you just what you want. You want it some naughty kind, so it's probably perfect. It's not, you know, it's not terribly naughty, but it's, it's fine. So how, many, how much do you, do you have any idea what the yield will be in terms of board feet out of this? If it was a full load, I could tell you better. And the actual yield, what you'll get out of it, I really don't know because of the difference between what they scale when we bring it in uh -huh. and the yield that you'll get. So uh -huh. um, if I had to guess the yield, somewhere in the four thousands, I would say, but that's just kind of a guess. Okay. I'm not really familiar with that end of it. Okay. Great. Thanks, Tim. You've Thank been you. a great help.